Would the streak ever end? It was inconceivable to think the Norfolk Admirals would win 20 games in a row. But then, 21-22, could the longest winning streak in pro hockey history be extended to 23 straight tonight against the best road team in the AHL, the Scranton Wilkes-Barre Penguins. Hi everybody, I'm Bruce Rader. Would that streak continue? Would the divisional champion Admirals clinch the conference title as well? Brian Parsons joins us from Scope with the highlights. Brian. <laughs> Bruce, a very enthusiastic Tuesday night crowd at Scopin. They all wanted to be a part of number 23 in a row. Scoreless in the first, Admirals on the power play. Michel Ouellette, he's been Mr. Clutch all during the streak, nets his 15th goal of the season. Admirals take a one to nothing lead. The Penguins would actually tie it with the goal in the second, a period they dominated by the way, so it was tied at one going into the third. The Penguins, so effective on the penalty kill tonight, but not right here. Less than eight to play in the game. Mark Barbario, nice moves and the nice shot that finds the back of the net. His 12th of the season and that, folks, the game winner. 23 wins in a row for the Admirals. Dustin Dukarski, 30th win of the season. The Admirals continue to rewrite the record books and more important, they clinch the top seed in the Eastern Conference. Norfolk with the gutty win over Wilkes-Barre Scranton, 2-1 to one the final from Scope. Reporting for the Sports Wrap, I'm Brian Parsons. Thank you, Brian. The Admirals' parent club, the Tampa Bay Lightning, has been very good to their minor league team. A December trade helped make the defense better, and Lightning general manager Steve Eiserman continues to send players down to help keep the streak going. We talked with him tonight at Scope. I just certainly never experienced a streak like this before and not uh, in my management or playing days. To win that many games in a row at, in any league is difficult, particularly with the schedule that players face in the American Hockey League. So, um, you know, it, it's, uh, it's been great for the organization and great for these players to try and keep it going, playing a lot of close hockey games and learning how to win games when, when uh, in a lot of different ways, whether you don't feel good, you don't have the legs that night, through goaltending on your power play or you're finally killing all different ways, I think it'll benefit them in the playoffs. With only five games left of the regular season, the Admirals will play their final two home games of the year, Friday and Saturday night, against Binghamton, and then finish the season with three road games the following weekend. 